From here, it really just looks like any public bus stopped at a park and ride. But uh, Pierce Transit says if you park less than 100 feet from it, like these folks have, you've suddenly got something that's hard to come by in this area, a free Wi-Fi hotspot. Anita Hayes and her husband say if you need them, the Roy Park and Ride in Spanaway is where you can find them. And we'll be here every day. <laughs> On their iPads, in one of the only places they can still get free internet access. Well, where we live at, we don't have any at all. Anita used to go to the library once a week to use the internet, but once COVID-19 restrictions shut it down, she says she's been cut off from an important lifeline. That's how I have to keep in touch with my doctor. And so if I need any prescription refills or anything, I have to have internet access. Now she's connected again, thanks to the public bus parked just a few feet away from her. Last week, Pierce Transit announced a pilot program geared towards students learning remotely. Two buses, one parked here, the other at the Lakewood Town Center, both doubling as mobile hotspots in areas where connectivity is scarce. Our hope is that it becomes a real convenience for people. A 2019 Pierce County audit concluded that basic economics keeps broadband out of many of the county's rural areas. The study put the onus on county leaders to decide that lack of broadband is more than a problem. It's a critical roadblock. But a year after the audit, the Hazes are still without broadband. We have lived there for 30 years and we're still waiting for it. Hoping Pierce Transit's program will expand into more than a pilot. I'm going to come down here every day to support it so they'll keep it going. In Spanaway, Kristen Ayers, King 5 News.